Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. All praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rakak, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and citations unto the elect men that's continually feeding the sheep of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, and sincerity and truth with this great gospel that's coming out of our Bible, man. Coming out of our Bible, and um, this Bible is for who? The Israelites. The Israelites. Right? The Lord separated the, nation, the nations and, um, Israel is his portion. Israel is his inher inheritance, right? So we are God's chosen people. The Lord chose us and gave us what laws, statutes, and commandments. And that's what makes us different from these other nations, right? How did we come become a heathen? We um we started following the customs of the other nations, right? We started thinking like the Gentiles. We started being uncircumcised in the mind and in the flesh. Right? And guess what? The Lord punished us, man. The Lord punished us to the point where what we became a possession to the heathen. A possession to the heathen. I'm read the book of Lamentations 4, verse 19. It reads, Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven of the heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains, they laid wait for us in the wilderness. The breath of the nostrils, the anointed of Yahweh was taken in pits, of whom we said under his shadow we shall live among the heathen right right now we in the pits right we're in that captivity we're in submission we're in the hands of what the enemies of um the nation of israel right that's what happened the lord scattered us amongst the heathens to be slaves unto them right since you wanted to be like them so much <laughs> hey go ahead i'm gonna send you amongst them and see and let's see how they treat you right they became gods and lords over us ruling over us and what they didn't show no love whatsoever i'm gonna read again our persecutors right they persecuted us they oppressed us they murdered us and they slayed us our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of heaven of the heaven they pursued us upon the mountains they laid wait for us in the wilderness the breath of the nos of our nostrils the anointed of the lord was taken in their pits of whom we said under his shadow we shall live among the heathen rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Who's that? The Edomites, the so-called white man, woman, and child. Right? It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, thou shalt make thyself naked. What cup? The cup of indignation. The Lord's gonna that righteous anger, that righteous judgment that the Lord's gonna unleash upon what these heathens. Starting with who? Esau Edom. Esau Edom. And these de and these people, they know that their their time is coming to an end. They know it's over for them, right? A lot of them, they ready to go to what a civil war. You got a lot of Edomites ready to go for that civil war. You got a lot of Edomites ready to go hide from the what the judgment that's coming. You got a lot of Edomites who wish they were Israelites, right? Look at this little Edomite girl. What she say? And I want to be black when I grow up. Her mother was talking to her. She said, no, nah, no, you can't do that. She said, no, I want to be strong. I want to be big and strong and smart. I, I want to be president. I want to I want to be a leader. She was talking like she already knew, man. Her spirit already knew the next rulers. <laughs> the next big thing is what? Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. She went, a lot of these Edomites, man, they wish they was Jakes. They wish they was Jakes. That's why they trying to dress like us. They trying to talk like us. Right, they trying to walk like us. They trying to act like us. Trying to be like us. Right? Edomites only want to date Edomite women. They looking for Jake women. They looking for Hispanic women. Right? Israelite women. Right? We're looking at the end of a nation of an Edomite nation because their houses are divided. You got this dude right here with a niggas for Trump shirt. Right? That's another thing. They got that spirit of um, rebellious. <laughs> yeah, fuck you niggas. We don't care what's about to happen. They, like it says, the devil knows he got but a short time. Who's the only nation on earth talking about a doomsday clock? This is the book of Revelation 12, verse 12. It reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth he have but a short time. Yeah, that doomsday clock. Now, that devil ain't no African song about no doomsday clock. Them Africans think they got next. They looking at all that natural material and that natural resource in that land. They think they got next. Central and South America ain't think about no um, doomsday clock. 
They talking about rebuilding. Mm. They talking about going to war. Look at the other nations. They went right. They ready to go to war with America. It's only European nations talking about what a doomsday clock. Uh, they measuring the times. That's the thing on Esau. He measuring the times diligently because he already know, man. His days is numbered. His days is numbered for what his wickedness on the pond of earth. Woe to the inhabitants. Read it again. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Time is not on Esau's side. So Esau is going to turn up. Esau is going to turn up. The Bible said when the enemy come in like a flood. Right, Esau is going to try to lock things down. Esau is going to try to implement that mark of the beast. Esau is going to try to lock down these cities. He's going to try to force a new law upon the people. Right? Because um, he's not here for the wellness of you people. He's here for the agenda of the elites. The agenda of the elites. And everything leads to what the mark of the beast. People being tagged. People being chipped. People being monitored. People being tracked. Right, them knowing everything that you do. Second Ezra 16 and 71. They shall be like mad men sparing none. Who's that talking about? These devils. A devil no got a he got a short time. I read again. Second Ezra 16 and 71. They shall be like mad men sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear you. How about Shim Yahushad that fear the Lord? Right? That's who really that's the threat. The biggest threat on this earth, on this planet. To these people is what <laughs> the children of Israel that's waking up, right? The children of Israel, the elect, that's the biggest threat. Starting with the elders and the apostles and the prophets. Really, Yahweh Shai, starting with Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. They know Yahweh Shai is coming to what? Take down their rulership. They said they saw the Lord and he had many crowns. <laughs> it says, they, are, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses, right? They about to kick in them doors, right? Just like they did in, what was that, Boston? They were going door to door, pulling motherfuckers out of the house, kicking in doors, right? Sweeps. It says, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. In the fire. Lord about to turn that heat up on us. If you think your shit is bad as right now, man, wait till what? The collapse of the whole system. Wait till the darkness of Jacob's trouble, right? Through your spirit, through that faith, and through knowledge and wisdom, and you being the elect, that's the only thing that's going to deliver you. Anything else is not going to work. It's not going to work in them days, man. Because um, once you lose the faith of the Lord, you're going to try to defend yourself. You're going to try to fight this devil. The Lord said, this is my kingdom. My men would fight. We ain't here to fight. Unless the Lord put a spirit in us to fuck these motherfuckers up when they come at us. But the whole time, man, hey, it says... Be as pilgrims in them times, man. <laughs> if you're persecuted in one city, flee into the next. <laughs> We're trying to avoid what's coming. It says, Hear, hear, O oh, hear, oh, ye. Hear, O oh, ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. But I will deliver you from the same. Yeah, that's the talking about the time of Jacob's trouble when these devils are going door to door, kicking motherfuckers' doors and snatching Jake's up out the crib. Chipping them, killing them, summary execution them, taking them back to FEMA camps and holding cells. Right? It says, Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold, as the gold, try, be tried as the gold in the fire. Hear, O, oh, hear, O oh, ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of the Lord are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. Who's that man? The prophets, the men of the Lord who believe, the servants. And the guide of them who keep my command, who keep my commandments and precepts of the Lord power. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Yeah, you got to believe that the Lord is going to be with you, man, through whatever you go through. <laughs> really, that's what you've been training for. Right, ever since you've been in this truth, you've been losing everything but what you've been keeping your trust in your how by Shem Yahushai. That's why you still your faith is still strong. That's why you're still in this faith. That's why you're still on the highways and by byways the Lord is still dealing with you. So you gotta keep fighting, man. You gotta keep fighting. Because um first off, the kingdom is being established for who? The children of Israel. 
right? This man's time is over. He know it, and he knows something greater is coming, and he's not about to be part of it, man. The only part that he got in it is as a fucking slave, <laughs> as a slave, Luke 12 and 32. It says, fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Who? To the Israelites, man, to the Israelites. 